their song Kissing curls and pieces of light Hey guys, so today we're going to try the potato bread mix that I got from El Peto. Uh, I did a video on this uh, talking about ordering from this company. So it's a pre-made uh, bread mix that goes into a bread machine. Uh, but you can also, from reading instructions, you can also uh, do it... Um, make a, a regular bread in the oven. So what we'll need is two cups of hot tap water um, as hot as possible but not boiling. One fourth cup melted margarine or unsalted shortening or oil. I am going to use some melted butter and it says add the entire 350 gram package of bread mix. Now with this uh, package I got two I can make two loaves so they come in little bags like this there um, and I have two two like that um, it's a small amount I don't know I think it's it's for a small size bread so but it doesn't really say um, okay so the use of the delay timer is not recommended as yeast is already mixed in Please no consistency of dough resembles more like toothpaste or plaster than ordinary dough. Uh, at the start of the mixing process, we strongly recommend that you help mix the dough from the top with a wooden spoon or plastic spatula um, for a couple of minutes. To This will ensure that all the ingredients are mixed from the bottom up and will give you proper texture throughout. The machine does the rest by itself. Well, I sure hope so because that's why we have a bread machine, right? Second time mixing is required. Override the setting if possible. I don't think that I can override it, so we're just going to have to use it. Use the shortest mixing cycle on your machine with an approximate baking time of 45 minutes. Then follow the instructions from the bread baker's manual. I have a short, I have a rapid white uh, cycle, so I'm going to use that. I don't have, unfortunately, a gluten-free cycle. Uh, if you use a 1.5 pound capacity machine, use one bag with 350 grams of mix, so one of these. For a 3 pound capacity machine, use two bags of mix to total 700 grams. And this bread mix can also be used for bread baking in a regular oven. Oh, see instructions inside. So, but the instructions are in French. So if you're English and you don't read French, too bad for you. <laughs> if you guys need a translation, I can do it. All right, we're gonna. I'm gonna just go ahead and put it in a bowl instead of in the um, instead of the the uh, container that's provided with the bread machine because uh, I think it's easier because the paddle won't be in there. Mix it and then I'll just let the machine do the rest. So, we're going to start with some water. Our melted butter. And our mix. It pretty much looks like white flour. And it smells like flour but with a little bit of a play-doh smell to it or something. Alright, so I'm going to put that in there. Alright, so I'm just going to mix it as much as possible. It's quickly getting really thick as you can see. I would imagine that's why they recommend hot water to kind of melt all the ingredients together. Kind of looks like mashed potatoes actually. I love mashed, mashed potatoes. Alright, so I don't want to over mix it because you're not really supposed to over mix um, bread when you're making it uh, in a machine like this. So, and I think gluten free bread is especially sensitive to over mixing. Oh, I have some flour. Alright, 
So now I'm going to put it in the pan. Alright guys, so now I've pre-mixed it in my bowl, put it in my pan, and I'm going to insert it into the machine. Alright, so that's in. Now I'm going to select uh, Rapid White, which is two. Now, I think one bag, from what I can deduce, is that if you use a 1.5 pound capacity machine use one bag so that'll be a one pound 1.5 pound bread um, so I'm gonna put 1.5 and a medium crust and there we have it um, <clears throat> now the baking time should be 45 minutes mine has a rise time in it <coughs> Sorry, so I don't know if I'm supposed to override that, but I can't, so I'm just going to let it go, and when it's done, I'll show you, and um, we'll have a little taste test. Hey guys, so we're back, and the bread is finished, but I had a couple of bumps along the way. Um, I noticed that my bread maker had a uh, deluxe super rapid... Uh, function on it so I decided to stop the cycle that I was on put it on super rapid instead of rapid white because um, it says that the least amount of um, time of mixing time is the best so I thought that was the best uh, it came out kind of white and very very chewy um, and it pretty much wasn't ready. The cycle ended up being about 59 minutes altogether on the super rapid. Um, and so then I put it in the oven <laughs> because uh, I didn't think it was cooked enough. I put it in the oven and it got a little bit bigger. I just took it out. I had cut it previously to see uh, what it looked like. So it got a bit thicker uh, before it was like shorter. Uh, and now you can see that it's fully golden on the outside. Uh, I, my breads pretty much always end up looking um, kind of this same way. And I don't know if that's the way they're supposed to turn out because they're small. And I should make bigger loaves to, to uh, big, um, a bigger loaf to make a higher bread. Um, and the little breads. I mean, it's hard to make a sandwich with a bread that's that small um, but so basically I, I kind of screwed up but you know that happens in experimentation so next time what I'm gonna do is uh, I'll do another video and I'll show you guys what I do I'm gonna go ahead and cut a piece so we can see the crust has gotten thicker but as you can see it's pretty um, chewy. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of wet looking. It looks like as if I t a bowl of potatoes got dried. Um, and to the touch, it's 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 kind of um, springy and ch chewy, uh, which is good because most of the breads that I've tried making have turned out to be uh, very dry. It's very wet. And it kind of tastes like uh, the texture is like as if I blended rice in a blender, and uh, it's like chewy. I don't know what it would be like if I toasted or after it's had time to cool down. Um, and I'm not quite sure if this is the way it's supposed to turn out. So I guess we could say that this is, was uh, not a very successful attempt. So I will be trying. Uh, I'll be attempting to do this again in the future, so I'm sorry guys, but learn from my mistakes, and uh, I'll see you next time. Bye. There was some yellow stones